Vocal cord dysfunction is often referred to as a mimic of asthma. Vocal cord dysfunction also has a lot of other names, inducible laryngeal obstruction or paroxysmal vocal cord motion. They're all essentially the same disease and are related to abnormal function of the vocal cords. The vocal cords are what composes our uh, voice box. And so vocal cords are used to phonate and make different noises. When they dysfunction, they squeeze together during times when you're trying to take a deep breath in or when you're trying to breathe out. And so this can cause you to feel the sensation of shortness of breath or not being able to get air in like you should. Many different things can cause different types of vocal cord dysfunction. They can be very similar to asthma, triggers such as fumes, gases, pollens, and allergens. They can also be of unknown causes, which we refer to as idiopathic causes of vocal cord dysfunction. Some people experience vocal cord dysfunction during exercise. This happens in a lot of high-end athletes, actually, where when they're really exercising very hard, swimmers, bikers, runners, uh, they'll suddenly get really shorter breath. And in these kinds of cases, it resolves very quickly. Vocal cord dysfunction feels a lot like asthma, where you're really short of breath and you can't catch your breath. It can be very episodic, a lot like asthma, where it comes on very quickly, but it also resolves very quickly. It is actually not known how many people have vocal cord dysfunction. It is probably a lot more common than we think because it is uh, grossly underdiagnosed meaning a lot of people walk around with vocal cord dysfunction that have never been diagnosed with this problem. Vocal cord dysfunction can be diagnosed by many different ways and it depends on the cause of the vocal cord dysfunction. Sometimes hints of vocal cord dysfunction can be picked up on uh, pulmonary function testing. A lot of times the diagnosis requires uh, laryngoscopy, which is direct visualization of the voice box with a camera. But to diagnose vocal cord dysfunction, 100% to be confident, or you would actually have to have symptoms when somebody is uh, evaluating you. Though there are ways that we can induce these symptoms by either putting you on a treadmill and exercising you, or by giving you a challenge with a, with a similar allergen that, that normally triggers your symptoms. The best treatment for vocal cord dysfunction is speech therapy, meaning exercises, maneuvers, uh, that you learn over time to control those abnormal movements. The other important part of vocal cord dysfunction is identification. So the best treatment is learning what exactly is causing uh, your vocal cord dysfunction so that the underlying trigger can be removed. If you're experiencing episodic symptoms of shortness of breath, meaning that the symptoms come and go very quickly, you could have a type of vocal cord dysfunction. In this event, I would urge you to see me to figure out what exactly is going on.